Hey now, back again. Seems I can't get that phone to sign in, and this other one is just about up. So I figured I'd keep going. Oh, shit, what happened? My videos. Cruising with Clem. 96%, about 80% uploaded. So anyway, I couldn't get that phone to work, but I'm going to keep using it as a camera because it's got a really good camera. And it's got an open SIM chip that I can just, or nano SD card I can slide in and out of, I hope. Uh, but for whatever reason, can't connect with that one. And, oh, so back, how can I put this? After I bounced out of ABIQ, and that's a whole nother story, remind me to tell you about it. So we got two stories I got to still tell you about. That's the ABIQ story and the... Mercedes tofu factory story. Um, oh shit! Mercedes story should be in uh, American Misfits. Dollar sign with an S. Um, so I went to Moab and I had this little computer and I was making music with a drum machine and other stuff. And I got to the idea that, and it's what I think to me the original origin or origination of. Uh, hip-hop music uh, scratching and DJing and things like that is that was a way of people to make original music out of pre-existing music because that was the only source of making music that they had and they were trying to make original music with other people's previous music they couldn't afford studios or microphones or this is or that so my Shanti Cena I have a another a SoundCloud account Shanti Cena S-H-A-N-T-I-S-E-N-A -E Shanti Cena my Shanti Cena 13 at gmail.com, I think. But Shanti Cena on SoundCloud. Long and the short of it was I made a decision a few years ago to only make music with free software because if I could do it with free software, anybody could do it with free software. And the pros all get to use that fancy stuff. And a lot of the people that I respect had a long career where they were figuring shit out. And we still appreciated that early stuff even more so in the future because of how it was put together so not having the money for a computer to replace because i drank it not that i didn't drink the computer i drank the money that i could have used for the computer but like i said before all that drinking kept me drunk enough to believe this could be worth something so here i am doing it haven't drank today T -t -t tomorrow's another day uh but anyway i found these phones so i'm making use of these phones as best as i can by making these, uh, what do you call them again? Shit. Uh, podcasts. Um, these are kind of look little pods, and I'm broadcasting to a little spot up on the web. We are at, oh crap, I hate when that happens. Come on. My videos. Cruising with Clam. 90, 67, 66, 67 seconds. So, this is the big drum roll. I'm about to be publishing my very first podcast cruising with clem and elvis or is it cruising with clem hawkins and elvis probably the sec the latter not the thing you climb to do wind is the word that means with t's latter not ladder um yeah getting them high so they can hear what i'm saying starting to believe it's naturally inherent in us and the more people get detached from the programming the more they realize the possibility that uh, we're a lot more psychic than we're led to believe i recall at some point researching or learning about ornaments and the or origination of christmas tree ornaments as we're almost upon christmas happy birthday everybody um the idea was in those days the people believed as a certainty as if we believe water is wet and ice is cold uh, they believed that gold allowed a psychic connection between people so they could uh have a better sensibility about what was around them and in connection with their family so when the kids were at the house and the parents were out in the fields they would put uh, gold 
along the tree lines as a wire, as a psychic receptor so they could keep an eye and keep in contact with their kids and their family and stuff. And I think that's pretty neat. Supposedly the whole gold band thing is that that's to simulate the idea that they will always be together even though they're not physically in the same place. Uh, I like that too. And when you think of about the pharaohs, that they got the most gold headdresses and all that, they got the most, the ability to see what everybody was thinking. Because that's what it takes to become a good king, is to be a good peasant. Think about it. In the game of chess, only two pieces move one step at a time. Pawns and the king. Everybody else is sliding all over the place, jumping all over the place. The horse goes in the L shape. And if you're in Oregon, you can see that in the back of that Ken Kesey statue. One of his sons, I was all high and thinking, oh, it's because it's the only piece that moves in an L shape. And I'm not sure why the artist chose the knight to represent chess for that kid. And I never met, I can't say I've ever met that kid, but I have chatted with um, Zane Kesey. And he told me that it was because his brother was real into chess that they did that. But like most pranksters, there's a false excuse for every reason that we aren't doing something. Uh, I'm going to check this tracking and whatnot, see how this other thing's doing. Should I put that on the camera? Oh, look at that. This video is ready to be watched. Peace. Love ya.